In this IGCSE and GCSE video, we're going to be contemplating how river landscapes change over the course of a river. So we'll be looking basically at the formation of meanders, oxbow lakes, levees, floodplains, etc. So let's start by stating what the physical landforms are of the upper course of the river. Remember, you'd expect to see V-shaped valleys, interlocking spurs, gorges, river rapids and waterfalls. So starting with V-shaped valleys, how do they form? Well, they form due to vertical erosion, which acts to deepen the river. The river cuts downwards due to hydraulic action and abrasion. The river erodes downwards, you get freeze-thaw weathering, which breaks off pieces of the river bank and causes soil creep. But what about interlocking spurs? Well, very similar to V-shaped valleys, we're gonna have vertical erosion, where hydraulic action and abrasion cause that river to deepen. What happens next is the river winds and bends in order to avoid harder rock and then repeated vertical erosion means that parts of the land stick out in order to form the interlocking spurs. Moving on to waterfalls, so in order for a waterfall to form you need hard rock above soft rock which means that that soft rock below will be eroded first. The erosion undercuts the hard rock meaning that you eventually you'll get an overhang and then through vertical erosion and hydraulic action you'll find that a plunge pool is created which acts to deepen the waterfall. So we've dealt with the upper course of the river, what about the middle course of the river? Here you're likely to find floodplains, oxbow lakes and meanders. So remember meanders are those characteristic S-shaped bends in the river and they can actually be very distinctive in places like the Amazon. But how do they form? Well the river flows fastest on the outside of the bend and flows slower on the inside of the bend. So what you find is that on the inner bend deposition occurs because the river has less energy so more sediment can be deposited. On the outer bend, more erosion takes place due to hydraulic action. The river erodes and deposits laterally. Remember that meanders and oxbow lakes are very tightly linked because eventually what happens if erosion is such that effectively the S on the meander gets cut off, then you end up with an oxbow lake. So again, how is an oxbow lake formed? Well, we're going to start by saying that the river flows fastest on the outside of the bend and slowest on the inside of the bend. Again, on the inside of the bend, deposition occurs because the river has less energy and therefore sediment can be deposited. The outer bend, we see erosion due to hydraulic action. Eventually, the bank at the start and the end of the meander will meet and full flow breakthrough will provide a shorter pathway for the river. And then the oxbow lake forms due to deposition on the new river banks. Now, a floodplain is the area of land directly adjacent to a river and it's found in both the middle and lower courses of a river. A floodplain forms when river discharge is high and the river overflows its banks. Now, that river water may infiltrate the soil leaving behind a layer of material which builds up to form the floodplain. Moving on to the lower course of the river, so what physical features do we find here? Well, first of all, we find that floodplain. So again, be prepared to describe how that floodplain is formed due to the high river discharge, meaning that the river overflows its banks, alluvium is deposited. You'll also find levees, the river mouth, deltas, and potentially islands. Well, what is a levee? Well, it's natural embankments that form by the banks of the river. How are levees formed? They're created by deposition. So when the river flows over its floodplain, the velocity of the river slows. This means that the river is unable to hold all of the sediment contained within it, meaning that the sediment is deposited. What actually happens is the largest sediment is deposited first, and then the smallest sediment is deposited furthest away from the river. And this is a process known as sorting. And as you might expect, this process repeats over time, meaning that eventually you get these natural embankments known as levees. Now let's look at some past paper questions. Explain the formation of a river meander. So we'll start by talking about how fast the river's flowing on both the outside and inside bend. Remember that the river flows fastest on the outside bend. And then make the full comparison and slowest on the inside bend. Because of this, on the inner bend, deposition occurs due to there being more friction here. On the outer bend, erosion occurs due to hydraulic action.
Now we're being asked to explain the formation of a waterfall. Remember, a waterfall can only occur where there's a band of hard rock sitting above softer rock. Remember that softer rock will erode first. And over time, this creates an overhang. Which collapses as it's unsupported.